Well, good day, everybody. Glad you can join me today. All right. I set this up. I was very uh, happy with the way it turned out. Now, the only thing that was purchased was the uh, the cells for uh, starting my seedlings. The table I always had downstairs. That tripod, I've always owned it. And same with the uh, two big lights. That's all I purchased. So it takes up a big footprint on the floor. And I just, I looked at it, looked at it, looked at it. And watched a few videos. And you know what? I'm not happy with it. I'd rather go up than, uh, than across. So I'm going to scrap this idea of putting everything on a table and I'll show you what I'm doing next. All right, so this is what I came up with. So it's a five tier shelf. All right, the shelves are 48 inches long, 24 inches wide, 72 inches tall. All right. So that should cover all my needs. Took less of a, a footprint on the floor, but this time I went higher. But what I'm going to do is, in between all the shelves, I'm going to run uh, LED lights. I'll probably put uh, six in between each shelf. Okay. And they're going to be set up with, um, well, right now I'm going to use like a paracord or whatever to hang everything because I ordered a, um, uh, a system that runs on, uh, on like a pull tab, uh, pulley system, but it won't be in for a few more weeks. That's okay. I'll put everything together with uh, paracord for now. And then when, uh, everything else comes in, I'll just switch it out. So what I got to do now is now that I got all the shelves up, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure exactly the length and the width. I'm going to minus, oh, maybe an inch, inch and a quarter. That's it. And I'm going to make like a, uh, um, a cross piece, six inches. And then I'm going to have a piece across here and a piece across there. Uh, also one by six, then I'm going to screw it together and then I'm going to attach a series of six LED, uh, lights to it. So right now I got to go and build the brackets. So that's my next job. So I'm going to head out into the, uh, garage, put them together. No, you showing you that. I'll show you that once they're complete. Then I'll bring them in the house and we'll put some LEDs to it. All right. Be right back. All right. So I made my uh, four light racks. I got two there for the bottom shelves. Okay, this one here is going to be hung up on them S hooks. And then so forth, this up on the next. But it's just a basic uh, H kind of design. I just used one by six. Now, my shelves are 24 by 48, so I went 47 by 23. That way, it gives me a little bit of clearance so that when I raise and lower my lights from the plants, it doesn't jam up on me. Okay, so I got uh, four of them made. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, set myself up, and on these two here, I'm going to put all my LED lights and then I'll bring you back. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so to continue on, now I got to take them uh, um, frames that I made and I got to attach LED lights to it. I want to put uh, six lights per rack, so I bought uh, 24. So right here is a box of 12. So we'll open that. So let's take a look. 
So these are all the mounting hardware. So that's for six bulbs. That's for six bulbs. We have each each bulb has its own on off switch. Okay. These are called the uh, daisy chains. And that's so that we can hook up the bulbs in uh, in sequence. So we got all that. And these are called uh, short daisy chains. And that's if you want to wire them in so you can hardwire them. All right, so we got a whole bunch of them. Check out the uh, the box itself. Okay, so these are six lights here. They're T fives. Now you have uh, T fives, T eights. T12s and so on, right? And basically, just uh, in short, in short, I'll tell you right now, a T5 bulb is 5 eighths, a T8 bulb is 8 eighths. And a T12 ball is 12 eighths. So basically a T5 is 5 eighths of an inch. Okay? So a T8 would be 1 inch. And a T12, well, that would be an inch and a half. And that's your roundness. Okay? So these are T5s. So in saying that, it's uh, 5 eighths of an inch round. Basically. That's the best way I can explain it. All right. So by looking at them, here they are, and that's what I mean. So that's only five eighths across there. All right. It's LEDs, extremely light, and per bulb. With all the hookups and everything on Amazon is uh, 10 Canadian dollars is what I paid. So I got 12 in this box, so that's 120 bucks. And I got two boxes of 12. That way I can put six per shelf. All right, so I'm just going to clean up here, and then we'll continue looking at uh, what I got here. All right, so I just took everything out of the box. Now, basically, like I said, I'm going to put uh, six, six lights per frame per shelf. So that's basically going to be my spacing right there. All right. So basically, one end is going to have a power cord coming out into the wall. Then I'm going to have a daisy chain to there. It's going to come down, one here, one up there, one here, and then one up there, and then down here is going to be a plug. So that's basically how it's going to be set up. All right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm either going to drill holes in here and just use paracord until my other parts come in, just so that I can hang them from the hooks. All right, there's one, I got one at each end. So I'll probably just do that uh, temporary. But so right now, what I'm gonna do is just uh, test all my bulbs to make sure that uh, they're functional. So I'll do that now. Okay, so let's check the bulbs.
Make sure they're working. Yeah, that's nice and bright. All right. Very bright. Okay, so this batch works. All right. So now I've been researching a lot of different channels and uh, about grow lights, how to set up grow lights, DIY, you know, go cheap stuff like this. I seen this on a channel which is Plant Based Gabriel. That's the name of his channel. Plant Based Gabriel. He's a gardener and this is the method he used to go cheap but it's copied by a lot, a lot of people that's for sure. But what's unique about him is when he hooks it all up he does a test with and without the casing. Now this is all LED in here, right? So what he did basically is he took the end, he cut it right across here, and he removed the plastic, the outer case of the plastic. Okay, and he says he can get 35% brighter by removing this casing, which is which is significant. So the reason why I'm mentioning his channel is because I'm going to do the same thing. So this is not something that I thought up myself. This is from his channel. I just want to get that straight. But I'm going to do the exact same thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook all these up. I'll put the power on. We'll take a look at it. Then I'm going to disconnect it. I'm going to remove all the casing. Put the power on and do a comparison. All right. So I'll be right back when it's all lit up. All right, so now I have them all hooked up in series. So let's put some power on it. Turn the switch off. Okay, so there it is. Now let's uh, juice her up. Oh, there you go. That is bright. So that's what I'm going to have on my shelves. Right in here. So that's bright. That's totally killing my camera and my video, I'm sure. But I just wanted to show you how bright it is. Now I'm going to remove the plastic. Then I'm going to secure all my fasteners to the board. And then we'll come back, take another look at it, and we'll light it up and we'll do a comparison. All right. Now I'm just going to use my cutters just to remove half of the, uh, the plastic plug here at the end. So there you go. So now I'll just trim that off. Very easy to trim. And that's how it looks trimmed. Okay, I don't know if you can see the wire in there. All right. So now what I'm going to do is just cut on both sides the length of the plastic. Once I remove this end here, it'll be done. Okay.
All right. So now I'm just going to move the camera around so I can slice them off with my, my scissors. I removed all the uh, all the casings that were over the LED lights, so they're all removed now. So let's take a look at the brightness. <laughs> yeah, that's bright, man. That's I, I don't know if the video is going to do it justice, but wow, that's bright. I'm going to shut off all the lights in the house. All the lights are off. So let's take another look at that. All the lights are off. And this is how bright it is. There you go. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. So that's what's going to be underneath all the upper shelves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Put an alternate in there with the casing still on so we can compare the two. I'll be right back. All right, so right now I got 12 LEDs set up on this rack. I have six that still have the sleeves on it, and I have six that I removed these sleeves off. So let's take a look at it. First, this here is with the sleeve on. Okay. Now this is with the sleeve off. Okay, so now I'll put the one with the sleeves on. All right. Now let's see if I turn the other ones on at the same time. Oh, big difference. I don't know if you can see that. I'll rearrange the camera. Right. So the first one is with the uh, sleeves on. Okay. It's pretty bright. Now the other one is the ones that I removed the sleeves on. There you go. A lot brighter. I can't even look at it. I don't even know if my camera is going to do it justice. See? <laughs> the table, the floor, everything disappeared. I, I don't even think you could see anything but them uh, six uh, lights with the sleeves on. Okay, so I'll put this one on. Now I'll turn the other ones off. <laughs> Check that out. It lights up a lot brighter. Now you can see you can see all the uh, furniture, the table, the floor. You can see my cabinets over there. You can see my rack. That's the ones with the light stripped. There you go. All right, so this is what I do to uh, mount them. They all come with these uh, slide clips. So I just took my board, divided it by six, and for me, it turned out to be four and a half inches, but that's not important. But anyways, that's what I do because of the type of shelf I have. So them are the clips, and basically what happens is it slides into the grooves on both sides. All right, so I'm going to fasten these to the boards, and then we'll take another look at it. All right, so I use a screw gun, okay, and then uh, I, I don't go all the way down because you don't want to strip it, but if you do, all you got to do is break a toothpick or so and put it in there with some glue and that's fine, but just go semi-tight and then take your screwdriver and then that way you won't strip your screws, but hey, it's not the end of the world if you do because all you do is take it out, get some wooden toothpicks, fill the hole, put some carpenter's glue in there. Let it dry, trim it off, and then there you go. 
So anyways, I know on other videos, uh, especially the gentleman that uh, I got this idea from, he says just to spread them with your fingers so that these go in a lot easier. But uh, no, you don't, you, don't, you don't have to do that at all. All you do is you, you, you place it on top because if you look close, they're, they're curved out, okay? So you just put them in, find your spot, and there you go. It just snaps in place. And then you do both ends, all right? But that's how easy it is, all right? So no, you don't have to spread all your clips just to get them in place, all right? And then once you got the other end on, just split the difference for the, uh, for the spacing at the end of your board. Okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory. But anyways, uh, I'm going to put it all together and then we'll uh, set it up into my uh, shelving unit. All right. So everything is clipped in place and properly secured. And you know what? That's not going anywhere. And not only that, <laughs> this whole frame with the lights and everything, very, very light, very light. So I built, uh, what did I build? Four of them. So now I'm gonna uh, put some paracord around it and hang it up and we'll take a look at it all right so i get the one light up and i kind of built myself just like a temporary daisy chain to hold it up till my other parts come in and uh, i'll show it right here Okay, so what I did was I just made myself a bunch of daisy chains that are all the same length. And then that way I can hang them up all the same way, but uh, for now that's what I got to use. Okay, so that's one light in place. So what I'll do is I'll put the rest in place. We'll take another look at it. All right. So I have them all in place. So I built uh, the four racks. And then basically, as all the uh, plants start to mature, they get too high for their section. Well, then I'll just put them on top with a couple of flood lamps. But that's what it looks like so far. So that's gonna be my new station. All right, so let's hook up all the wires and give it a go. So there you go. It's complete. It's all uh, tied up. So there you go. There's my uh, indoor uh, grow light system that I put together. And yeah, I'm glad I'm glad I changed my mind about the uh, the table. To me, this is going to be much better, much better, much better. And nice and bright. All right, so anyways, that's what we have so far. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to maintain. Takes up a lot uh, less floor space, really. 
So that's going to be my new system. Sometimes, you know, you just got to put the brakes on, think about what you're doing, and try something new. I think this is going to be a lot better than what I wanted to do in the first place. So now I'm complete. All I got to do is put my earth and my seeds together and stock these shelves. So I'll get back to you when that's done.